What's up, peeps? Julian Williams here with The Distance. Got a video for you guys this evening. This is going to be a prediction for Sergio Martinez versus Martin Murray. About takes place on April the 27th on HBO and um, I believe in Argentina. I believe it is. So, anyway, um, this might be my last video for the day. I'm not sure. I'm kind of, I'm still thinking about Zab Judah versus Danny Garcia. Maybe I'm overanalyzing that one a bit. But I'm trying to get the, with that one, I'm trying to really not have the bias come out of me. Because, quite honestly, I'm a huge Danny Garcia fan. Been a Garcia fan, as, you, as people were able to tell, for like three years now. So, yeah. And then Zab Jula, of course. Zab Jula. You know, that fight. You know, we're not even talking about that damn fight. Let's talk about this fight. Sergio Martinez versus Martin Murray. Now, the first thing that comes to mind with this fight, this was a fight to me that was created for Martinez to win because it's a fight in his hometown. And I personally, and this is just my opinion, I think that hometown fights from time to time are just fights that are supposed to be showcases for the people that, basically for the people that, you know, basically for the people that are from the same place that you are from, of course. Like, but then in some circumstances, we do get difficult fights in, in, in some fighters' hometowns. Like, for example, when I think about this fight, when I read about it the first time a couple months ago, I was thinking of Iran Barkley versus Nigel Benn. It took place in New York. Um, Iran Barkley had a lot of momentum coming in. But Nigel Benn came in and knocked him out in the first round. I, and I think about this fight... And I think about this with hometown fights, too, is I also think about Pauli Malignaggi and Juan Diaz was, is another one I think about where, you know, you're in a fight, the hometown fighter is, I mean, every everything that the hometown fighter does, you know, is going to get a crowd reaction. That was another fight that was just created for Juan Diaz to win. Then both, I mean, he got the split in one fight, but the second fight, you know, he got totally, um, I wouldn't say he got dominated, but he got slapped half to death. But, um, so this, that's what I think about with hometown fights. I think hometown fights are just created for the hometown fire to win. You're just putting on the show in front of your hometown audience. But in this circumstance, you have one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, is Sergio Martinez. Personally, I think, I really think that the super fight to make would be him and Golovkin or him against Ward, him moving up against Ward. I think that would be another another decent one. I think he walks like 170, so why not? He might be a little bit stronger at that weight. But then again, mobility comes to – it's a big part of Martinez's um, game plan. But just overall, when I think about this fight on, on paper, I know for a fact that Mar Murray has to, has to go in and knock him out. And I was talking to 78 um, about a week ago. We were talking about <laughs> the chances of Mar Murray coming in and getting – Coming in and getting the upset, you know. He he has a chance because he, he does fight at a fast pace. He fights at a fast pace. He kind of wings his shots in and things of that nature. So it's, it's a possibility. So, you know, pretty much I'm not going to get too deep into the fight. I'm not going to overanalyze as I usually do because sometimes I'll have an analysis longer than the fight. But in this fight, I personally think that Mark Murray has to come in and he has to continuously apply pressure to Martinez. Um, he has to fight him at a fast pace and look to, to, to catch him with the right hand off when he's um, when Martinez is on his back foot. Martinez does have the ability to move any direction in many different angles and positions his body well and count, counters well. He's going to have to catch Martinez as he's reaching with his jab with his right hand, I mean with the, with the right hand shot. He got to catch him when he's reaching in with that right hand. He has to keep his gloves up to avoid the left. And he's gonna, like I said, he's gonna have to get get his head in that chest. He's gonna have to, he just has to pressure him. You know, pressure is gonna be the key to beating the Sergio Martinez and covering his angles. You know, he has to always be in front of him, and he always has to throw. He has to cut him off. You know, fighter with mobility, that is the key to win. You have to, you have to cut him off. You have to make them square up with you, and you have to throw a lot of punches. You have to throw at volume as well. And another thing too with Martinez as well is he is a he is a good counter puncher. You know you got to give him that he is a good counter puncher. And but I think that defense, pressure, 
and and um and um volume punching will be very will be necessary for for Murray to win this fight. And it has to be, you know, he has to go in, he has to fight him from bell to bell. You know, from pillar to pose, from rope to rope. He can't fight him at the center of the ring. He can't let Martinez dictate the pace. It's like with Jake LaMotta. Jake LaMotta, when he fought um, Robinson in the sixth fight, Robinson was catching him. But everywhere Robinson went, LaMotta went. Every time Robinson took a step, LaMotta took a step. Every time Robinson moved his hands, um, LaMotta returned. And this is what Murray has to do. He has to return all of his punches. He has to go tit for tat, but also do a little bit more work. Take his range away. That's an important key in this fight. On the other hand, you got Sergio Martinez, one of the best fighters in the world. Quick feet, quick on his feet, fast hands, good counter puncher, powerful left hand, powerful right hook. Uh, you know, he 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 likes to he likes to use his body to create his shots. He uses his movement to create his shots. He'll move to a certain part of the ring and just stick you with the left hand and move again. He'll he'll throw a lot of punches too. He showed that in his last fight against Chavez. You know, he'll 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 throw a lot of punches. He'll throw 80, 90 around. He did it against Chavez and he did it against Paul Williams. In this fight, of course, Martinez is gonna have to hit him and he's gonna have to move. Power shots and movement is gonna be necessary for Martinez to win this one. One thing about Martinez is he is tricky. He's quick. You know, it's going to be hard to hit him. So I think in this fight against Murray, he can't fight Murray's fight, of course. He has to go in. He has to he has to move. Use use that southpaw jab. The size of the ring is going to be important, too. If, if it's a big ring, he's going to have to use that whole entire ring so he could turn Murray and hit him. That's, that's going to be very important for Martinez to fight, the size of the ring. The size of the ring is going to be important. Of course, it might be a 20-footer. If it's a 20-footer, that's going to benefit Martinez. If it's like a 17, 16, that benefits Martinez because it doesn't because he's not using as much energy. Um, Martinez is going to use more energy, but Murray's not going to use more energy. And then it's going to be easier to find for him to find his punches. But at the same time, I think that if Martinez utilizes his angles, if he uses his jab to set up his left, if he if he can position his body into the right spot. That he can actually catch Murray with, um, he might be able to get that flash knockdown against him. He might be able to get a flash knockdown or catch him, you know, with the left as he's stepping forward and he goes down, something like that. You know, that's that's I I think that's the key to um, victory. And then that looping left that Martinez has is deadly too. So who I think is going to win the fight? I'm going with Sergio Martinez in this fight. I think Martinez is going to go in. I think he's going to get a decision. Um, it's, you know, I, I I just think that you know the sp- the speed kills in this fight. Uh, Murray does, you know, he he is fast on his feet, but he, I think he's going to have trouble with Mar- trouble trying to chase Martinez, and Martinez is going to continue to turn him and hit him. You know, with, whether whether it's the right hook or the left, the loop and left, I think Martinez is going to turn him and hit him, and you know, dictate the pace using his jab and from the outside. So I'm going with Martinez in this one. So anyway, peeps, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.